Good morning everyone and happy Sunday. Just getting ready to make some blueberry pancakes. So let's get started. I'm starting off with one cup of unbleached all-purpose flour. I'm spooning my flour into my measuring cup and then I will level it off. Again, one cup of flour, pouring it into my bowl. I have a strainer in the bowl. And now I'm going to put two tablespoons of very fine cornmeal. Spoon in and level off into the strainer. And now one tablespoon of sugar. So we need to add some baking powder to our pancakes to make them nice and light and fluffy and to help make them rise. So one tablespoon of baking powder. And because we are going to be making buttermilk pancakes and we're using buttermilk, we need to add a half a teaspoon of baking soda. Along with that, we're going to put in a half a teaspoon of kosher salt. And that is it for our dry ingredients. Just pass all the dry ingredients through your sieve into your bowl. This helps to make it very nicely aerated, gives a little air into your batter, and make sure that the baking powder and baking soda is dispersed nicely. So now for our wet ingredients. I have some beautiful Pittsford Dairy Buttermilk one and one quarter cups and be sure to shake your buttermilk well before you measure it. To that, I'm going to add one large whole egg and also one large whole egg yolk. We're also going to add two tablespoons of vegetable oil or canola oil. You can use melted butter. Be sure to make sure that your butter is cooled before you add it to your yolks and buttermilk. Two tablespoons of canola oil. Now you want to whisk all of your ingredients very well before you add it to your dry ingredients. So take a whisk and make sure that you really whip it nicely. Once you add your wet ingredients to your dry ingredients, you're just folding it. You're done with your whisk and you're gonna move on and use your rubber spatula. So make a well in the center of your bowl and pour your wet ingredients in the center of your bowl. And now you just want to go around your bowl and fold your dry ingredients into your wet ingredients. This will not be smooth. You want this to be somewhat clumpy. You just want to make sure that your dry ingredients are incorporated into your wet ingredients. Now it's really nice if you have time to let your batter rest for 15 minutes 
and you notice I have a beautiful bowl of blueberries. My griddle is hot. I have it at 325 degrees and I sprayed it with some Pam. You can brush it with melted butter or olive oil instead. And I just use an ice cream scoop to scoop out our batter onto the griddle pan. This recipe makes about seven to eight pancakes. Now you wanna to top each pancake with some fresh blueberries. You want to cook your pancakes for exactly three minutes before you flip them. Okay, we're ready to flip. And now you want to reset your timer for another three minutes exactly. Okay, I think our pancakes are ready to be plated. I like to serve these pancakes with some nice fresh orange slices and additional fresh blueberries. Place a pat of butter on top of each pancake. And have some beautiful New York State maple syrup to pour over the top of your pancakes. Lovely. And you are ready for breakfast. Enjoy, everyone. Happy Sunday. See you again soon.